but that goes into there and that produces the eye shape I mean what you could just squeeze the end of that with it with a pair of pliers you know the round end squeeze it with pliers but if you did that you would get you'd get an an, o, uh, an oval shape whereas this produces an eye shape with a good sharp corner so that it helps the passage of air down through the reed itself that that's the important thing now having got it done like that um, what I need to do now is in fact to um, help the uh, the shape a little bit more by using this mandrel. I've got a mandrel here with this 5 30 seconds um, rod and I file the end slightly flat either side there and just push it into there like so and then use the file just to make sure that the, the it's nice and smooth and actually one thing I need to do here is to check the um, the the angle uh, at, uh, or rather the yeah, what I do is I hold it up against the light and you can see that there's a sort of space there I'm going to squeeze that till I get the space reduced so it's nice and flat along the uh, along along half an inch of the of the uh, of the staple the staple is about three quarters of an inch long and the half an inch there is uh, is nice and level and it gives a good basis for the cane to lie on so I've done that and I'll just once again just give it another little bit of a of a file and in fact what I'm doing is that I'm reducing the thickness of the of the brass wall at the top to uh, really quite a feather edge you know so it has been reduced and the 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 width at this point should be about say two and a half to three but it's it's exactly just under three there just under three millimeters wide which is just right you find that if you have it too thin too too uh, too narrow an eye that the cane will tend to sort of close up on itself naturally too wide an eye and it and it'll tend to sort of open up so it's quite critical to get that right at about three millimeters which is just under an eighth of an inch so anyway, that's the that's the staple prepared there. So that's ready now to receive the um, the piece of cane. Except I need to uh, tie this together. So if I just take it out of there, shake the surplus water off, and then what I'm going to do now is just to to separate it like that, and then put it together so that the tips of the cane are together. If the top is slightly off, it doesn't matter. But get the tip dead right. Get the tip. Nice and right, like nice, correct, like that. And then using ordinary sewing thread, I'll just go around like this, tie it together. You know, down, it, there's about an inch of cane is uh, is showing above the staple, above the wrapping. So you had to go down about say three quarters of an inch, like that. Um, you know, down down to about three quarter an inch on the tip, and then finish it off with a half hitch. Like that. Oops. Cut it. Like that. And that's prepared now, ready to go on to the staple, you see. It's got to, it'll have to go on. It's got, it's got to go in as much as that, you know. And, and that's, that's it just rehearse it like that, you see. Leaving about a quarter of an inch at the bottom there. And the total length would still nevertheless be two inches as it is there, you see. Two inches length. Can you have you got that? Yeah, just 